Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Woo! Yeah! We're running on veggie! So I've been working on a project and I am pretty excited about this one. It's going to have a pretty big financial impact on me. It'll save me thousands of dollars. And one of the cool things about it is it's going to allow me to do things I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. I mean, for instance, this project's going to make it so that I'm able to travel across the country in my trailer and live that nomadic entrepreneur lifestyle for cheaper than I can actually live at home despite the cost of fuel. But in order for you to understand how that's even possible, I need to first give you a very brief history lesson. So enter the diesel engine. There are two important things that need to be understood about diesel engines to make this project make sense. The first is the advantages of a diesel engine. Diesel engines produce more torque than similar gasoline burning engines and they are also more durable and efficient. Because torque is important for towing heavy loads, diesel engines are often the engine of choice for situations where there's going to be a lot of towing going on. The second important thing to understand is that because of their compression based design, diesel engines can run on just about any organic oil. In fact, when Rudolf Diesel invented this type of motor in the late 1800s, he used peanut oil to run the engine. Now, I don't know about you, but when I first heard this fact, I was pretty amazed. It's, it's pretty astounding if you think about it. I mean, for one, and this is a bit of a side note, but it means it's a more environmentally friendly way to run these big trucks that run on diesel. But in addition to that, and more importantly for my personal purposes, it means that I can run my truck on a variety of vegetable oils, which happens to be a fluid that is available in bulk or free if you know the right places to look. Restaurants all over the world use vegetable oils every day to fry food in. They usually change the oil regularly in the name of quality and cleanliness, and this means that they have to store the used vegetable oil and find a way to dispose of it since they can't put kitchen grease into the regular garbage bin. Because it's something that they have to dispose of anyway, with the right amount of tact, it's very doable to get permission from a restaurant owner to take some of their used vegetable oil off of their hands. Which brings me to my project. With the help of my brother-in-law, I have made a conversion to my truck to allow it to safely run on used vegetable oil. The conversion basically involves adding an auxiliary tank in the bed of the truck to store the oil in, adding in a provision to heat said oil, and adding in an extra high quality fuel filter to ensure the engine is only being fed pure oil. It wasn't cheap. I spent $4,000 on the parts, and that's with doing the work ourselves and not paying someone for it, and there were multiple days worth of labor into the project. But I should be able to make the money back pretty quick. Diesel is around $5.50 a gallon here, and the new tank on my truck is a 55 gallon tank, so every time I fill it up completely with free vegetable oil, I save around $300. I have only had my truck converted for a few weeks, but I've already filled up the tank three times because I was doing some traveling, so I already have around $900 worth of savings, and that's only going to increase dramatically later this year when I am traveling and living in my trailer full time for a few months. I usually focus on money making projects, but this project is going to lead to some serious savings, and I think it's pretty cool, so I wanted to share it with you all. I have a pretty interesting online money making project that I'm going to be posting very soon. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss when I upload that video. Thanks for watching and hit me up with any questions in the comments below.